Huge tag team action in our main event this evening. It is Cedric Alexander and Mason Maddox, who is a prospect from the Rings Wrestling School in Charlotte, North Carolina, where Alexander is one of the instructors, taking on worldwide television champ Smith Garrett and Chet Sterling. Sterling, the man that Alexander defeated for that championship just a couple of months back before Alexander lost it to Smith Garrett at Battle Cage. So a lot of history with these individuals in this huge tag team bout. Right, it should be actually an excellent tag team match. It's our uh, yeah, recollection, our first time seeing Maddox here. I was about to say, CBF. Maddox has been on some of the Rising Generation League events. First time, I do believe, on CWF Worldwide. First time on the main show, so to speak. And he is a protege, maybe the protege of Cedric Alexander. He has the reputation of being the top student at the Rings Wrestling School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Would compare him to to, oh, heads up, pace is quick. Oh, 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 the knees, right? The, the ding ding. Would compare him to maybe Jesse Adler here at CWF Mid Atlantic. He has the reputation for being at the top of the class. So when Alexander was given the opportunity to pick a partner, he kept it in the family. He goes to one of his students rather than seeking out any other wrestler in the world to have his back. Alexander instead has sought out somebody to open the ropes for him, someone to towel him off if need be, someone who probably drove him to the building tonight. Is that a wise move? Cover! Is that a wise move, Cecil Scott? Well, if the kid's willing to do all that for him, you know he's going to fight in that ring for him. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, he's going to do whatever he has to. He'll take the bullet for him. We see it very often with Coach Gemini and Chappie. Chappie may be the most annoying person living on the planet today, but he does all that for the coach. And he's been the difference maker in so many All-Star matches. Oh. And uh, I've learned never to trust a guy named Mason. Dreams. This is me. Cover! Mason Maddox got a lot of pressure in his CWF Mid-Atlantic debut here. But man alive, he can really accomplish something big if he pins either one of these two men, the worldwide television champion or one-sixth of the Battle Cave main event that everybody's talking about. The man who for half of last year held two championships at the same time. The man that's going for this vertical suplex right now, Chet Sterling. And I got a point to make here, and it's, uh, if there's a night where a guy like a Mason Maddox can pull off an upset against an established champion like Smith Garrett, it beats be tonight because Smith Garrett really had that uh, that post-championship kind of letdown, so to speak. He accomplished his goal. He got to where he wanted to go. Will, will the, uh, the same drive still be there? Sometimes hear it called a sophomore on, jinx. Seth, right, and it's kind of a, a variation on that. You know, you see a lot of a lot of champions in other sports, they win and then they come out the next season and they're not quite the same because you're not pushing for that one win. Mm. So we'll see how Smith Garrett adjusts to life as a champion. Mm -hmm. And we saw Mason Maddox right there with a nice count for a nice deep arm drag. Heads up. Smith Garrett, so far so good in his first show as champion. Yes, sir. Cover. And Alexander shoves the official. That's very, very much flirting with a disqualification. Right, in these tag matches like this, uh, you know, not a title match. Referees aren't going to be nearly as lenient. Especially an experienced, uh, very competent official like Kevin Pierce. And Sterling. And Garrett are ruling the ring right now. You know, if they keep Maddox in there, they could maybe wrap this thing up without Alexander ever even getting in there to make a difference for his team. We talked about this with Adler. You keep the more, the less experienced man in the ring. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice shoulder block. It's up on the apron. Oh! Right to the back of the neck and the head. No sooner do I reference Cedric being the difference maker than he makes a difference in this bout. And we should point out, just because I know Smith Garrett's not going to talk about it, is Cedric puts the boots 
to Chet. Good thinking here from Maddox. Like it or not, Maddox has got the official. And you know Cedric Alexander has him prepped. Got him trained and taught and mentored. Now I gotta point out, Smith Garrett is coming to this match pretty banged up. He doesn't want to talk about it, but that match with Cedric Alexander left him in a bad way. He's cut in, I know he had a fracture in his hand. And Cedric in the ring for the first time legally. And Chet Sterling's found himself in a bad spot. Yes, he has. Very, very bad spot because he is at the mercy of a merciless Cedric Alexander. Alexander believe in, believes in his heart and his soul that he is the best wrestler in the world. He may be. He's definitely one of the best. But we didn't catch up here. Mason Maddox is taking notes. Mason Maddox is absolutely in the corner taking notes from Cedric Alexander. Oh, big back elbow. There we get a shot of it. He's, he's taking notes. Well, he's, he's a good trainee. He's a good well, cover. That's why they have practice sessions. He's getting on the job training from Cedric Alexander. I guess. Look at him. So, I wish some more trainees would take notes. He told him to do something impressive. I mean, could you imagine more pressure on a young kid on his first big show? You know, this is a real interesting dichotomy between these two people. While Alexander, if you can believe it, is actually a little bit more hostile than the person I'm about to say in this instance, it reminds me a lot of where Chet Sterling was a few years ago, oh, basically being trained on the job by Trevor Lee. Right. Cover. Uh, a, a very similar scenario where Trevor basically had Chet kind of taking bullets for him, mm -hmm. so to speak. Now, a lot of mutual respect and a wonderful partnership grew out of that. Do you think uh, Cedric can put enough ego aside to allow someone to be a great partner for him? It's certainly possible. He's had some great partnerships in the past, you know. Uh, Caleb Conley, uh, Caprice Coleman, right? Uh, Veda Scott. You know, he's had some good partners. Can we talk about Veda Scott? Mm, we can talk about Veda Scott. Alexander, ooh, the lights may be dimming on Chet Sterling. That was a hard shot. Alexander is standing tall. Yes, he is, and he, uh, He's already beaten Chet Sterling by dubious means. We know Chet has wanted a shot for over a month now. Yes, oh. Cedric Alexander uh, caused a lot of problems that night. Yeah, it was about six weeks before Battlecade, a very fateful night in three of these men's careers. Oh, oh Alexander oh, kicked him so hard, he flew over the top rope with the momentum behind that kick. And Chet just fell like a sack of potatoes out of the ring. That could be a game changer for this match. You just saw the eyes roll back in the head of Chet Sterling. Smith Garrett is on the outside checking on his partner, and he should be. Man, he may not make it. And that was violent. And Cedric is so dangerous. We don't talk about it enough, but he can just turn a match around on, at the blink of an eye. He's just so explosive and so quick. What in the... Sterling is pulling himself up as Alexander is resting on his student. Oh, oh, oh. Snap suplex. Two. How brutal was that snap suplex? And Alexander is just staring a hole through Smith Garrett. I wonder if he's just trying to make Smith Garrett kind of think about things while he's beating on Chet Sterling. Oh, they. He took a moment to talk to Maddox, and Sterling fires away. Oh, you can't take any time. Oh, dumps out Cedric. Yes, he does. Good thinking. Mason is the legal man. Club, he's got to get to his corner, though. Oh, he's got to get to his corner. The crowd urging him. He's got to make that tag. Oh, that was bad presence of mind on Sterling's part. I think Sterling realized how close he was. And Cedric pulled Smith Garrett off the apron. I do not think Sterling realized how close he was. He could have made it. Maddox behind double knees in the back. Man, what a big shot. Can we get an upset? Two. That was great thinking on the part of Mason Maddox. Oh, he's kicking dirt on Smith Garrett. Well, I would get him back to the corner before I bother with any of that foolishness. Man, hard whip. Alexander holds him. 
and the former worldwide television champion, the man who took the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship overseas and made it the worldwide television title is in. Only gets two. Maybe uh, slow this thing down. Not a bad idea with the chin lock. Uh. And he's just staring down Smith Garrett. He knew what he was doing when he positioned himself here. Yes, he did. Alexander is so good. He's such a cocky prick. That, too, but so good. Tough, durable. He can fly. He can fight. He can wrestle. He can do it all. And he can knock your block off. Listen to the fans come up for Chet. Oh, my God, a headbutt to the face. Alexander may have knocked himself loopy. Ow. You got to be careful with something like that. You'll catch a tooth. You'll cut your own self open. Mm -hmm. Smart smart to tag out with your Cedric. I think he rung his own bell. Chet Sterling, he knocks Cedric off the apron. Maddox caught him by the waist. Roll through, no sir. Get it. Huge STO out of the corner. He's got a chance to get to his partner. Garrett has been foaming at the mouth for several minutes. But can Chet Sterling get to him? He's almost there. He's got about four or five feet. Center tags in there, Smith Garrett. Double tags, here they go. The former and current television champions duking it out. Alexander creates some space. Swing, no sir. Oh, just dotted his eyes, man. Oh, rolling elbow. Maddox eats an elbow. Smith Garrett has got to do the work of two people right now. And Maddox is out of there. He's sending from behind. Oh, what a kick. And now it's down to one-on-one -on -one at least. Go Smith Mountain, maybe? We'll try it. No. Oh, dear. Woo. Man, how, it. how fast are these two? Oh, God. Oh, God. He pogo sticked him with that DDT. That's going to be all. Two. Oh, what a man. What a DDT. Alexander is incredible. you got to be resilient to resist to survive a DDT like that. Like you said, he pogo sticked his head into the canvas. A very sickening display there. That's it. Smith's gonna go ahead and set him up. I think we're getting Smith mounted this time. Oh, Alexander is still in this fight. Unreal. He's a lot like a Trevor Lee. You just can't keep the guy down. Max said move. Oh, he's helping his partner. Helping his mentor. Shotgun drop kick. Oh, dear. Drop kick to the head. Smith has got, oh, Smith has had all those concussions. Oh, no. That's got to be it. Oh, kid at the last second. And he had to make that save. Smith Garrett may be knocked loopy in the center of the ring. Sterling had to make that save. Smith Garrett undeniably got his bell rung. Caught it right in the temple. Good Lord, our first main event of 2016 is delivering and then some. Oh, nice reversal by Sterling. Now it's Chet that finds himself in a two-on-one. Oh, it's a girl. He caught the wrong man. Chet with the quickness. Cedric out on his feet. Oh, leg lariat out of nowhere. Everyone is down. Man, what a match. What a main event. Good grief. First man to his feet will get a huge advantage for his team. Maddox is out. Maddox is out on the outside of the ring. Now, as far as I know, Smith and Cedric are still the legal men. Oh, what a shot. They're the two in the ring. Oh, is he going to fly here? He Alex says he is. Alexander teasing a dive out of the ring, perhaps. He's waiting on Sterling. Yes, he is. He's got Maddox to hold him in place. Of course. Oh, Smith is out. Smith Mountain. Yes. Oh, got him. Oh, everyone down. But he doesn't have enough in the tank to make the cover. He made the save for his team, and that's what counts. Now does he go for the cover? Does he make a tag? Alexander is close to his corner where Maddox is pulling himself up. Garrett is a little bit farther away from his corner.
corner, but we're talking inches. So it really is six to one, half a dozen the other. If he goes for the tag, it goes for the cover. Right, and we know both partners are kind of worse for wear right now, too. Cedric is the first to tag, but Chen is in, too. I think Maddox tagged himself in, technically. Alexander may not know where he's at, but two. Products. One from the Mid-Atlantic Dojo, one from the Rings Wrestling School in Charlotte are in the center of the ring and they are duking it out. Man, look at these kicks by Maddox. You know he learned that from Cedric Alexander. Absolutely. The student of Cedric Alexander versus the student of Trevor Lee. And this is fan, losing his fans. Sterling may have got the better of it. Whoa! Well, he does such a great job of holding on. Yeah, Chad is squirrely. You can't ever get rid of the guy. All the way up top, could be the blockbuster. Let's blockbuster! Nailed him, and that's gotta be it, Cover! Got him! Body checks Alexander, does the champion, and Sterling and Smith Garrett win the first worldwide main event of 2016. The worldwide television champ stands tall in the first main event of the year. Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion Ron Wilkins defends his title next week on CWF Worldwide.